leadership leaves behind a vacuum because no other nation or institution can fill the role we fill not the united nations not nato not the organization of american states and certainly not russia and china no other nation is capable of rallying the peace loving freedom loving people on earth to take action other than united states other than the united states and when it doesn't play that role chaos ensues and that's what you see happening in place after place around the planet you cannot have a safe and prosperous world without strong american leadership and you cannot have strong american leadership without it first and foremost being backed up not just with strong diplomacy but with the strongest military power on earth and the rapid decreases in military spending are threatening are threatening our ability not just to defend our country but to remain the strongest military power on earth and it makes no sense military and defense spending is not the cause of our long term debt the cause of our long term debt are entitlement programs that are currently structured in unsustainable ways i believe in these programs my mother's on these programs i would never do anything to hurt her or anyone on these programs but these programs go bankrupt then they bankrupt our nation if they are not reformed that's the cause of our long term debt meanwhile every time in our history that we have radically slashed defense spending we've had to come back years later and undo it and it's cost more money and been more chaotic at a time when china now endeavors to build a 300 ship navy at a time when russia is acting out aggressively and increasing their defense spending despite the fact that their economy is in shambles we cannot afford to dismantle the american military advantage and we cannot afford to lose the technological high ground if we do the world will be less safe and less prosperous and economic growth and empowering people with skills will not be enough and so this is the choice before us we must decide now what every generation before us has had to decide are we willing to do what it takes to keep america exceptional if we do the three things i've outlined here today make us the healthiest economy on the planet empower people with 21st century skills and abilities and values and make america the strongest participant on the global stage then the 21st century will be the most prosperous era we've ever known as a people if we fail you and i will be the first americans to leave the next generation worse off and to me and to all of us that should be an unacceptable outcome let me close with this observation america doesn't owe me anything i owe america everything that i've been able to do if my parents had not come here in 1956 if america didn't happen to be the nation that was mine 90 miles off the shore of cuba i would not be standing before you here today I might be a really good bartender or something else related to it in the hotel industry but there's no way in the world that I could have the same dreams and potentially the same future as the son of a president or the son of a millionaire. The reason why that's possible is because for reasons I will never fully understand God blessed me and my family with the opportunity to grow up in the freest most prosperous nation that man has ever known. It's a deeply personal story I often speak at events like this. and it's kind of early for a bartender but in many of these events well you never know but um <laughs> who knows what's in those eggs but uh but but in many of these events i speak at there's usually a bartender and a portable bar in the back of the room and it reminds me of my father my father worked behind a portable bar like that at banquets for decades i know there were nights he probably didn't want to go to work the new year's eve he wished he was with us instead of with them the thursday nights that he stayed there till 2 a.m. my father worked behind a bar like that into his 70s he was grateful for the job he had but that's not what he wanted for us why did he do it was it just to pay the bills no my father stood behind a bar like that all those years so one day i could stand behind a podium like this in the front of the room and the journey from behind that bar to the front of this room that journey that's the essence of the american dream that in this country's people from anywhere can accomplish anything they set their mind to that makes us different don't ever take that for granted and those of us who have lived that which is basically all of us those of us who have seen that experience in our own lives which is basically all of us i think have a unique and special obligation not just to protect it but to expand it to reach more people than ever before for even as i speak to you now there are people trying to make the same journey my parents made and the same journey your parents made Cuz this story is your story too. It's the story of your mother that worked odd jobs so that you didn't could be able to finish school. It's the story of your father that did everything he needed to do to ensure that all the things he never could do in his life you could do in yours. 
that's not just my story that's our story that's the unifying principle of our nation and the idea that we would ever lose that is unacceptable and unimaginable and that's what we're on the verge of doing if we continue on the path that we're on right now every nation in the world has rich people what makes us different is that here we've had millions and millions of people that achieved happiness by working hard and persevering and I just want that to reach more people than ever before and that's the chance before us that's the unique and exciting opportunity of this 21st century and I thank God every day that I'm alive at this time right here right now because I believe that we are on the verge of another American century where the American dream won't just survive it'll reach more people than it's ever reached before that's the unique opportunity of our time and I hope we'll seize it but to do so we must turn the page we must be proud of our history but excited about our future we must understand that the 20th century is over and it is never coming back and we must boldly move forward into a new century with extraordinary opportunities and real challenges and if we do these things in essence if we do what every generation before us did which is to confront the challenges and seize the opportunities of our time then you and I will leave for our children what every generation of Americans before us has left for theirs the single most exceptional nation that man has ever known so thank you for the chance to talk to you about it today thank you